The company still keeps details a secret, but the test mule shows a couple of camouflaged areas, so it's easy to see where styling updates are about to come. In any case, this will be a pretty subtle refresh. We are about to see some changes but the overall layout will remain largely the same. Therefore, you may count on familiar design characteristics, on a crossover that offers a super smooth ride and an impressive level of refinement. We also like the spacious cabin, which features incredible build quality. Finally, the powertrain lineup includes some really capable units. The 2023 Mercedes-Benz GLS will represent the fourth production year of the current generation and therefore, a mid-cycle refresh is on the way. We are about to see some interesting updates, mainly in terms of the styling. The test mule features a couple of covered areas, so we know where to expect changes. At the front, this primarily refers to the bumper, which will feature a completely new design. Furthermore, we expect to see a new grille design, while headlights may come with a new internal design. On the other end, we might see a couple of revisions as well, while typical updates like new color options and wheels are also expected. The mechanical aspect of the vehicle hasn't changed much. So, we count on the same ride quality, which is all about comfort. The ride is smooth while the car is easy to drive, even though you shouldn't expect too much athleticism. New cabin design, with the same dashboard as the new S-Class, with that massive hyperscreen and other amazing features. However, we won't be disappointed if the company leaves this design approach for the next generation, considering that the current interior already looks very impressive. Besides excellent quality, this cabin is also very generous with space. All three rows are comfortable and spacious enough to accommodate adults with ease. Furthermore, the cargo area offers around 17.5 cubic feet behind the third row, 49 cubic feet behind the second row and 75 cubic feet of the total cargo volume, which is also a pretty decent amount of cargo space. For reference, the current model already comes standard with goodies like quad zone climate control, panoramic sunroof, a 12.3 inch touchscreen, a touchpad controller, navigation, voice command, a 13-speaker Burmester stereo, Bluetooth, 9 USB ports, satellite radio, HD radio, wireless device charging, an in-car communication system, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. Additionally, you can get optional features like 5-zone climate control, remote start, the Mbux interior assistant, a 7-inch Mbux tablet for the second row, a 27-speaker Burmester audio system, second row wireless device charging, and a Wi-Fi hotspot. The powertrain lineup probably won't change. So, base models should continue with a familiar 3.0-liter inline-6, which puts out around 362 horsepower and offers decent driving dynamics. However, we feel that the optional 4.0-liter V8 is a much better choice. It puts out around 483 horsepower and offers notably better performance. For those who look for ultimate performance, there is the AMG version, which uses the same but tuned V8, with a max output of 600 horsepower. Finally, there is the Maybach version, with a V8 that puts out around 550 horsepower. The starting market price of the 2023 Mercedes-Benz GLS will be around $79,000. The main competitors will be models such as BMW X7, Range Rover, Lexus LX, etc. That's all I have to say about this car. For now, see you in the next video. Don't forget to like the video.